Okay, now we have this problem on the right, two over the fifth root of 27 x cubed y to the ninth, and we need to rationalize that denominator. We're gonna do the same thing. Now I use the fifth root again so that I can refer over here. I have an index of five, so I'm gonna need groups of five common factors. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this with that radicand factored out. So instead of 27, I'm gonna have three times three times three. And instead of x cubed, I'll have x times x times x. Instead of y to the ninth, I'll have nine y's. Six, seven, eight, nine. I believe that's nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So what would the denominator need for that radicand to be perfect? It's gonna need two more threes. So it's gonna need three times three. So there's two more threes. And it's gonna need two more x's. So it's x squared or x times x. And it's gonna need one more y. And the reason it only needs one more y is because I've got a group of five and then I've got four. This fifth one will give me a group of five y's. Now if I multiply the denominator by the fifth root of nine x squared y, I need to multiply the denominator by the same thing as I'm multiplying the numerator by so that I have, again, a factor of one. I hope I said that right. Whenever I multiply the denominator by, I need to multiply the numerator as well so that this highlighted multiplication, we're multiplying the numerator and the denominator by that, that's just anything over itself is one. So this right here is a factor of one. So I'm gonna change what it looks like, what this original fraction looks like, but not its value. So in the numerator, I'm gonna have that two, that's the original two, times the fifth root of nine x squared y. And in the denominator, I've got one group of five threes, so a three will come to the outside. I've got one group, I'm gonna use a highlighter here, I've got one group of five x's, so I'll have one of those x's coming to the outside of the radical, and then I've got two groups of five y's. So that would be one from each group being multiplied together would be y times y, which is y squared. So we've got two times the fifth root of nine x squared y over three x y squared. Now values inside the radical cannot cancel out with values outside a radical in the denominator. So if it's in the radican, if it is the radican, it needs to um, remain and cannot cancel out with anything that is not under the same radical and index. And that's our answer for that one. So hopefully that helps. These two videos uh, will help you understand in your homework uh, why it is that we're multiplying by what we're multiplying by.